Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, great morning, whatsoever. Today I'm here to make the aesthetic pleasing book tag. This book tag was created by Book Syrup, so her channel and her video will be down below. Number one, best color combo on a book cover. For me the best combo color that I have seen so far is Ignite Me by Tari Mafi. The mix of the orange and the green, the yellow a bit and the pink, it is just so beautiful. I really really love it and the blue eye also makes it just, it's just an orgasm of colors. Honestly, I am just thrilled to have this book, best typography slash font on a book cover. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenna, by Jenna Han. Why am I saying Jenna? It's Jenny. By Jenny Han. Also to all the boys I've loved before but I don't have this book because when I read it I was um, borrowing it. So I have the second one. And I really like the font because I feel like it's as if someone had written on it, on the book. So I really, really like that. Like, in here I just feel like someone wrote that. And I just really, really love that. Best simple cover. For that one, I took The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. But not that cover. I prefer the uh, naked cover, which just has a little reindeer on it, or a deer. God knows what it is, with the spine which is blue and black and I just feel like this is a simple cover that is just so beautiful. Just the little deer, the title, the last name, blue and black, perfect. Best and pages. For that one I choose Red Queen by by who? By Victoria Aviard. This book is so stunning. The end pages, I cannot tell you, is just silver and grey and the um, pictures I believe mean something. I have not yet read this book so I don't really know but the end pages are just so beautiful. Best map. For that I chose the Grisha Trilogy but in particular Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is the first book in the Grisha Trilogy and it is the first to have a map and I thought that this map was so clever. The person who drew the map was so intelligent to have drawn all of these because when you read the book it really really helps to know where they are and where everything is just situated because it's a new world you don't know where the things are you don't know anything about this world and I just kept going back to the map while I was reading because they were moving a lot and I was like oh I understand where they are now and which city they have to go through to go somewhere so that was really really helpful. There is also another map in the second and third book but they are different maps and I just feel like that one was the most useful one. Best Naked Hardback. I choose Ensnared by A.G. Howard. This hardback naked is so beautiful, you have no idea. Just, just first the spine is amazing, like gold, but then you get to the front and oh my goodness, this is so freaking beautiful. You have no idea. This is just gold and it's it's so beautiful. And I don't know if it is on the two other books because the uh, two other books of the series, I have them in paperback so I don't know if it's the same thing. Maybe it is, probably it is. But that one was just so stunning. I love it, love it, love it. Best back cover. For that I choose Aristotle and Dante Discovery the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alar Sainz. This book is really really old. I'm sorry it is uh, not in a good shape <laughs> but I just really like when the front cover follows onto the back cover of the book. I just feel like this is so so amazing because it's a book. Why isn't it like the same thing on both sides if whatever. It just starts like that with, I guess it is sunset, but it could be a sunrise. And then you go there and it follows like that. And you could just open it like that. And it will be a continuation. So just really, really love books that are like that. Best chapter headers. To be honest, I don't have a lot of chapter headers in the books that I read. They're mostly like chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. And some don't even have chapters. 
So I was a bit, well, what the hell am I gonna pick? Because I don't have any books that I that have chapter headers. But I found one and I loved it because I didn't remember that this book had a chapter headers. It is Splintered by A.G. Howard, the first book in the Splintered trilogy. Since this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, this is really funny because you have uh, chapters like The Ocean of Tears, Into the Rabbit Hole, so you, you a bit know what it is going to be talking about because it, it still follows Alice's real story. So you have chapters that really introduce you to and you know what it is going to be about. Best illustrations. I didn't know if the illustrations were like just a front cover or like inside the book because inside the book I don't have any books that have illustrations. The book that I chose is Splintered again because of the illustration at the front cover um, and also a bit of the, um, the design put in the chapter headlines. It's like that. A bit like the front cover with Ensnared. Best Spine. For that one, I choose The Nest by Cynthia Zaprix Sweeney because when you put it in the bookshelf, it is so beautiful because it is upright so you can see it and you can read it and you don't have to turn your head and read it like that. So I really like that one and just the colors, blue and yellowish gold, really, really beautiful. I haven't read this book yet, being really, really, really recommended by a lot of people so I need to read this book but I have a lot to read. <laughs> And finally, favorite cover on your shelves. This is a book that I have not read yet. It is The Muse by Jessie Burton. This book is so beautiful. The colors and the design and just, just by the book cover, it made me want to take this book. So it's, it is so beautiful. And if any of you have read The, the Muse, Tell me in the comments down below because I really want to know if it is a good because I, I did not really read the uh, synopsis. I don't know what it is about. Yeah, I just know that it has a lot of pages. So that was it for my book tag. I hope you really enjoyed. If any of you wants to do the tag, I tag you right now because um, I've been away for a bit and I don't know if my subscribers will come again and I don't know if any booktubers is still watching my videos so I'm not gonna tag anyone in particular but if you want to do it do it feel free and yeah I'm gonna see you soon with any video bye